Hi everyone, this is Diana Palm from dianapalm.com and I wanted to talk to you today about how to deal with fear when there's a crisis going on. Even if you are quarantined and feeling isolated, perhaps your job ended or has been put on hold, school has been canceled, all kinds of things are shifting and changing in our very own communities. And I want to help you to have some techniques to be able to still feel your community, to be able to connect with others, and how to perhaps use this time to create some new opportunities for yourself and how to move through the fear of crisis and actually stay in a good centered place in your homes. Let's face it, we're all being affected by the coronavirus. I went to the store earlier today, no toilet paper. The whole aisle was empty. And it's that case at every store in our area. Target, Walmart, the grocery store, Walgreens is out of toilet paper. It's hitting home. When you can't get toilet paper, what's next? I'd like to help people find resourceful ways to move through this without the anxiety that it's invoking. Nobody likes to be shoved out of their comfort zone and in their regular daily life and their patterns, the way that their budget's set up, all kinds of things are being affected. We can't control many of these things, but there is something we can control. We can control ourselves. We can control our own health, the way we feel about things, our focus, our attitude. We can control the environment in our own homes, and we can control the way we look at this. We actually have the ability to control our time. Some of you have lost your jobs and some of you have been sent home to work out of home. This is causing a lot of financial changes and a lot of family dynamics are changing or being stretched with the additional stress of having everyone at home and on top of each other 24 seven. So I'd like to give you some alternative ways to look at this so that you can implement some strategies in your own home environment to really move through this crisis with a little bit of ease and the ability to have some skills to work with the time frame that we're all experiencing and all living through right now. Many of you are also canceling your vacations, your travel plans, and staying at home. And it's a really good thing to follow the regulations that are being set forth. It's really good to follow your own guidance on that and only do what makes you feel comfortable and if you feel confident with going out there and traveling. Now, I am traveling this week and I have been really impressed by Delta Airlines who has been keeping me up to the minute on all their additional sanitization techniques that they're implementing on the plane. They're doing more air filtration, they're spraying everything down, the gates are cleaner, the seats are cleaner. Many of their aircraft are being disinfected by additional flogging processes. And this really assures me that I'm gonna feel safer. Also, traveling with my iPhone, I usually would always put it in the seat pocket in front of me, and now they're just flat out telling you not to do that. Keep your cell phone packed away while you're on the aircraft. We normally don't think about these things, and it's time that we do, because many of us do travel and move around a lot for our jobs or our lifestyle, and it's really important that you just take extra precautions and that you feel comfortable and confident moving around in the world and keeping a healthy immune system and keeping on focus with your life. The airlines are also making it much easier to do self check-in at your home computer. They're recommending that you get the app so that you don't use the public kiosks at the airport. I always check in from my home computer. I can just go straight through security and onto my plane. Also, as I'm traveling this week, I'm only bringing a personal item, which is my backpack. I can reduce the things I'm traveling with and roll them up and pack really tight because I don't want to have what has happened in Chicago. Travelers trying to get their bags and there's huge delays and huge crowds. I will keep that with me. I will keep everything in it and it will stay with me the entire time. It won't be getting transferred or touched by others. I don't have to worry for it to come out. I won't have any delays this way. So if you are traveling right now, I would recommend to pack very light with just a personal item that you can keep on your body. This is also gonna make your travel experience much faster and more enjoyable. Now for all of you who are not getting around and traveling, maybe you are isolating at home, maybe you've been sent home from your work, and maybe you're actually under quarantine. It's really important right now that you stay cash 
fluid. So you actually want to have some cash on hand. And I'm not talking about actual paper dollars because what good is that if you have to order things online? You want to have access to your money though. You don't want to have it tied up in properties and stocks where you can't actually get at it. So if you have some choices to make financially, make sure that you have resources in your banking accounts where you can actually order things that you need and have them delivered. So do make sure that if you have too much cash or if you have everything tied up that you are making some of that accessible to help you get through this time ahead. This is also an opportunity to look at how you can diversify your business or the way that you've been operating in your business. If you can shift the way that you've been serving your clients and offer them the same services online, your business will be able to continue without any hiccups. So look at anything that you currently offer your clients and look at what their needs are and see if you can figure out a way to offer them the same service right online. Most people are going to be spending a lot of time at home and that means online. So if you can reach them and serve them, this will be really good for your business, for your financial stability, but also knowing that you're still being able to serve your clientele and help them with whatever needs they have. This is also a fantastic time to invest in further training. If there's a skill set that would help you to move your business online, or if there's something else that you wanted to learn that you haven't been able to, check out all the online courses. There is so much training available now online where you can actually take advantage of this time at home to re-educate yourself or enhance the education that you currently have. Statistically, they're saying that the online course business is going to be a billion dollar a day industry by the year 2025. So if you have not already made your services available online or figured out a program that you could offer online, this might be a really opportune time for you to do that and start building an empire for yourself through your online offerings. While you cannot control the emotions of your friends or family, you can control your own. And it's really important that you're not living every single day in fear, lack, worry, anxiety. You have control over this. You can shift this by either being proactive or just being peaceful. So watch funny movies, watch comedies, read books that enrich your soul. Do something that's positive. Keep an environment in your home that's light and happy because there's enough worry and concern going on in the world right now, but you can control your own home environment. So stay up to date, but don't get too saturated in what's going on with the media. Know what you need to know, and then turn the news off and listen to music or cook a great meal. Do something that actually enriches the time you have while you have some time off. It's also a great time to do some spring cleaning. Spring is just right around the corner here. And so right now it's a great time to make that shift. Bring your winter clothes out to the closet. Wash up your spring and summer clothes. Move the furniture around. Of course, everyone's probably already disinfecting and cleaning with Lysol. And when you do that and you do really thorough house cleaning, you find a lot of junk that you're not even using. So go ahead and make your piles for the goodwill, for the trash, for someone you want to give it to. Reduce the stuff in your house while you're going through this. When people start moving around again and you start to become active in a regular pattern life again, you'll be really happy that you've already done this reset and that you've used this time wisely for yourself. You may find that you have some projects that have been lingering around unfinished because you haven't had the time. Well, this would be the opportune time to get after those. Staying purposeful and completing tasks is a great way to keep your mind moving forward rather than getting stuck in negative thought forms. So think about it for a minute and figure out what kind of project you may have unfinished around your house that you want to get after but haven't had the time and then decide that you're going to go do it. Finish the project. This will be very good for your emotional and mental well-being. It's also a wonderful opportunity to spend time with family. So while you may be isolating from the workplace or from going out to restaurants and doing different things, you could certainly have your family come over and spend time with you. And if they're living with you in your own house, you can keep the environment lively by cooking dinner together, watching movies together, playing card games or board games, and keeping it a fun experience for your family. Now, I'm not saying it's fun to be isolated. It can actually be quite stressful, 
But, you know, I live in the Midwest and there's many times we have storms and bad weather where we kind of get used to hibernating. So I think people in the Midwest are pretty good at finding very creative ways to keep themselves happy and entertained. I'll consider maybe getting involved with some crafts or maybe this is the time to start writing that book that you've been wanting to write. Another, it's another wonderful opportunity to get in shape. Seriously, not as many people are going to the gyms right now and I love seeing all the videos and commentary from a lot of my friends and family right now. They're working out in their living room, just like Jack LaLanne, remember? Simple exercises, jumping jacks, push-ups, you know, little hand weights, and really you don't need big expensive equipment to stay in shape or to work out. So many people are actually using this time to get back in shape, and what perfect timing because Again, by the time all of this lifts, you'll be ready with your bikini body and ready for summertime. When you're feeling isolated, it's really important that you actually reach out and connect with people. You can do this from the comfort of your own home by using Skype to connect with people. Facebook has a live video feed where you can communicate in real time with people in different countries. I often use that when I'm working with clients that live in different countries. And I just love the new Zoom rooms because people are filling them up and creating communities online with their friends and family and they're keeping these active rooms available so people can pop in and stay connected and share where they're getting their resources or share what they're doing. And it's a wonderful way to stay in the flow with people so that you're not feeling so isolated. So really take advantage of the times we're living in with our technology and the ability to stay connected with people so easily right from your smartphone or computer. It's really important that you're focusing on your own well-being. So take those sea salt baths, do the face mask at night. Make sure that you're enriching your soul by doing what makes you happy. You are the one that's in charge of this. Nobody can make you decide what to think or feel. So no matter what is going on, you own your thoughts and you own your feelings. So why not focus them on something that brings you joy? It's possible for you to actually move through this time and through this whole experience without any trauma. Of course, it's inconvenient, but it's only as inconvenient as we make it. We can actually make this an enjoyable time, an enriching time to reconnect with our family and loved ones, reconnect with ourselves, get our finances in order, get our new business in order, get some more training, get our business online. So look for the opportunities in this downtime and in this isolation and find out how it can benefit you. And I did a video last week on some things that you can do to help beef up your immune system and help you be virus resilient. So make sure you watch that video here. Of course, I am a medium, so I understand the importance of connecting with loved ones. It doesn't matter if our loved ones have passed or our loved ones are here and we can't get to them. The human need to connect is a vital and important part of who we are. So remember that as you're sitting in your home and your life is changing day by day, you're not out circulating as much, you're not going out or perhaps not even going to work or school, but do remember to reach out and make those human connections reach out in whatever ways you can to create your community and maintain your well-being by staying connected. If you're a medium or want to take that next step with your mediumship, I do have an online course for mediums. So check that down in the details below this video. I actually have a link that'll fill you in and give you more information on my course. I'm also available for private sessions if you feel that you'd like to work through some of the fear and anxiety that you're experiencing right now. So go ahead and check out my website at www.dianapalm.com. I would like to ask you how you're able to continue servicing your clients and if you've been able to move that effectively online. Put that down in the comments below. And also, if you have found a creative way to stay positive and stay connected with your loved ones, please let me know down in the comments below. We can all really benefit for some really good ideas right now. So share your creative ideas, let's stay connected, and let's share that information so that others can actually benefit from that too. If you like this video, make sure to like it down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I post a new video every single Thursday. Thanks so much for being here, everyone. Have a great day.